Today we want to learn how to present an architecture board without rendering and 3D modeling. So stay with me. Now it's time to work on the plan. First paint the background in a new layer. And after that, paint outside of the house plan in another layer. In the next, create a new layer for the lines and fill the plan lines with the brush or paint. In this step, we try to bold walls in order to make plan more visible and define the outside and inside areas better. Now I'm going to paint the first level of project into the new layer and after that I'm going to paint the inside of the home in another new layer. Okay, now I want to put some shadow on the ground. To do this, I select the level layer and check the drop shadow in the layer style. You can find the layer style from the layer menu. With this shadow, we can show difference of level height between ground and level layer. In the next step, we add shadows for inside layer, same as previous. Now it's time to add textures. Add texture above each layer. Adjust the size, color, and position. and finally use clipping mask and set the blending option into the multiply for all the texture layers. Ok, now let's add a white color inside of furniture. To do this, create a new layer. After that, go to the base layer and use magic band tools to select inside of furniture. Get back to the new layer and paint the selected area with a white color. Okay, it's look much better.
Now I'm going to paint the trees. I used a wet brush for the painting of trees. Okay, as you see, presentation of plan is done. Let's work on the perspective. I start with painting the building surfaces in a new layer. It's important to consider color contrast while you are painting surfaces. Depends on the direction of the surfaces, consider darkest color for the surfaces that are back to the sun and brightest color for the surfaces are facing to the sun. The next step, add a sky same as before in a new layer. It's time to work on the glass material. First of all, Paint the glass area in a new layer. Now we should add a reflection on the glass to define it better. Okay, now I'm going to add a sky layer on the top of glass layer. Move and arrange layer to create correct reflection. Decrease the layer opacity. To make glass look more realistic, add some gradient with low opacity from layer style on the glass layer to make it look better. Adjust the contrast and brightness of glass layer to stand it out. Now it's time to add some personage to the render. 
Select the people figure with magic band tool. Copy and paste them in your project. And to make it look more sketchy, add a black outline. To do this, you can check the stroke option from layer option in this layer. Okay, let's add some more figure and make it more atmospheric. 